Once you have downloaded your inventory template, it needs to be completed. The first thing to note is that within the Amazon template, there were some required fields and some optional fields. Required fields tend to be things like that are really vital information like SKU and the brand name and the quantity of sound fields contain some really quite important information such as product description and bullet point but also a lot of less important fields which are for product discovery for example here target audience base power blood types and search keyword if you haven't got time to fill these out the first time you do an upload you can of course complete them later in the inventory template file where you download from the amazon there are also a number of tabs which are no go through these give useful information about how to complete the files and also the valid values which you can add to it. The first tab has some instruction about how to complete this file. The second tabs give guidance for requirements. Amazon has for the images which can be added to the products. There was a tab with some example data this year. To date definition tells you the optional and required field. The template is where you will fill in the browser. Data here give information on the browser node and category which you selected from creating this upload file. And the value values sheet gives you a list of the valid values that can added when you are completing the field. Let's now return to the template tab and we are going to go from the field that need to be filled in from left to right and the left hand. Most column is the product field type. This is populated with the drop down or the category which you selected when creating the template. And you can hear it says the creation ball. And if we go to the inventory and put it where I upload and select a category. This product type here comes from here the product type. And also this is the browser no idea which we will discuss in a moment. And if you want to find a new browser node the new product type you can actually get the information from this page. The items queue is a pre-test file. We you create with your product number is a good idea not to start an HMS queue with the zero because that will get striped out from the Excel. Personally, I like to start them with the letter because the net is always tech, whereas if just a number, it can be treated by Excel as text or number. The brand name is populated with a drop down of the brand that you have created in the brand registry. If you want any other name of a brand here, you just type over it. External product ID and external product ID type. This is the product identifier. In this case, it's either variation and a barcode or the Amazon standard ID number. If you are trying to create a listing which already exists in any other Amazon marketplace, you can use the ACN in the European article number, which is the European barcode ISBN as a book specific barcode on the UPC, as is the unified product code which is what is used in the USA or other part of the world. The item name is the product title. The manufacturer is the item manufacturer which could be the same as the brand name or could be different. The recommended brand note is Amazon version of category. The first note or category you selected when you were creating the product will be here in the drop down. You could have selected multiple categories when you created the template. If you want to put any other node in there, this can be found from the Amazon website under the inventory. Add product to upload when you select the types of the product you want to sell. For example, baby activity books, the player node will appear here. You can add multiple browse nodes when which, which you can download your product template down here and then when you open your template will appear in this list. A second option is to consult a browser node mapping table. This is a list of first node in the spreadsheet format. Here you can see you will see the node path and category and then you have the browser nodes in different European countries. There was a similar spreadsheet for Amazon USA and other Amazons. I have including the link in the course description. The quantity is in the stock quantity of the product you are creating if you are creating FB item. That must be set to 0. All automatically become a merchant field item. It is obligatory for the product to have a main image. The image must be hosted on a web accessible location and it must be a full path. What I mean by that it must be a full URL with an extension on the end. If you are looking for a free hosting company. One you can use in this emerging web hosting site which provide free web hosting or if you download your image to the image girl and ghost the image you will see this is a kind of images in the bar at the top. This is not for 4 year old and we will not work with the Amazon. However if you click on the image and you open image on the new tab you will see the full path here with the extension where you can then copy into your spreadsheet. The free A to J on this spreadsheet are required field and you can see here the emerald green color the field.
the right are the optional field the first set of the optional field are the additional images adding additional images to a listening can really improve its conversion rate and also give more information to your customer dot very much recommended it recommended the next session here is for variation in listening other things like this one where multiple colors are available from the same listening page so this variation listening is good for conversion rate as buyer can buy multiple different options from the same page but they are trickier to set up and we should be going through this in a separate video the next session is title basic as the name says is pretty standard stuff about the product the most important bit here would be the product description and part number is also filled here if you are updating or deleting if you want to delete a product you will put delete in this column here then you would need no extra data apart from the sku number however if you are deleting product it's best to use the inventory load of file some of these fields are free test but other have the valid values and these value value can see in invalid value tab so if we take age range description here the option that you need to fill here are kid adult baby or youth age range so you would need to select from here from this drop down fields important discovery help amazon do the filtering in its product research there are also some section here like bullet point which appear on the listening itself some of these fields will appear in the technical detail on the listening so if we look at the listening here bullet point will appear here and above this item and down here there is a technical detail and some of the discovery field will appear here even if to the right in this sheet for the enrichment and dimension are also field which are used in amazon search and also in the technical details the filmmaker section gives all the information which is required to define an item as an fbi item or for something to fba you need to set the fulfillment center at amazon underscore eu in the usa this will be the amazon underscore na the dimension and way to here will define how much it costs to store and to ship an item Compliance is regulatory information. It includes information on tire safety, which will appear on the listing country of origin, which is used in duty if an item is going cross border. Item weights and unit of measure and information which will be used when accepting a product into a FBI warehouse. So here we have the best information, and it also be the hazardous chemical information. Here we have hazardous chemical information. You may find if you have to fill this information. that will not to be accepted in the fba warehouse there this information is the information that is specific to offer that you listed against you may find if you have to fill in this information that will not be accepted into amazon warehouses the information is specific to offer that you listed it includes things like the merchant shipping group the merchant shipping group is a template that which you apply to a product which sets the shipping rate it has the condition and a test code you need to set the test goes up in the separate part of the amazon but under it is a grief wrap available so you can set what do you want to add up to a product or not you will need to also enable gift wrap on your account this template which we created was a multi market template and therefore it is required that the pricing information is added for the six different market places that this template cover for each market place this is a sale price and a sale day start and end or normal offer price note that the offer in the united kingdom and the european union are in different currency A final section is a B2B section. Here you can set your business prices and threshold of which you will offer better prices for the first column. Here is the business price, and then you can choose here whether you want to have fixed discount on certain bound or the percent discount on a certain bound. This is your lower bound, and this is your cost price. In this case, the normal price is ten. If they buy five, they will get them for eight. If they buy ten, they will get them for six, etc. If instead of fixed price this is at 2%, this will mean that the normal price is 10. But if you buy five, you will get 10% off, and if you buy 10, you will get 50% off, etc. This is some multi-market template. This discount will only apply to home market place. So if you upload it on the United Kingdom, there will be a discount you get from the UK businesses prices. You will have to do the France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Netherlands prices separately. Once the file is completed, it need to be uploaded. If you go to the inventory add product by upload and then click on the tab upload your inventory file select inventory file for specific categories to your file here and click upload once your file has been successfully processed it will appear here and monitor upload status there will be a file that you can download which will give you the details of the product which you have been uploaded successfully and those which are the issues those that have issue will appear in the complete your draft in the catalog Let's just have a look. Look at the processing report. So here is the processing report. It says here that the number of records that are processed was the same as the number uploaded. So there was no problem with the file formatting for each as product as SKU that has a problem. It will give the detail, and there will be an error code and also information on what that error is. 
So for example, here on this particular SKU, your account was not approved to offer self-fulfilled products in this category. That means that the only way that you could sell this product in that category will be an FBA item.